My lords, ladies and gentlemen, when a hundred years ago this country sent people down to the South Pole, we were the pioneers in exploring Antarctica. When we did so, I suspect the reason we did is that the South Pole and the Antarctic seemed as far away, as desolate, and as empty as it could possibly get to be on this planet. Now, a hundred years later, we realize that although we have done a great deal about what goes on down there, now we realize that that remote place is in fact key to the whole understanding of our planet. What goes on down there affects the whole of the Earth on which we live. What goes on there is of great importance to every one of us everywhere. And this country has been key in discovering what goes on down there. The British Antarctic Survey, an organization of marvelous people of which this country should be hugely proud. And what they've discovered is that the Antarctic, far from being remote and desolate, it is key to understanding what is happening in the entire globe and happening here. And that we ourselves and what we do affects what happens down there just as what goes on down there affects what happens up here. So understanding what happens is of crucial importance to everybody in this country and indeed to the world. So Britain can be proud of the fact that it was key to the beginning of that source, that, that exploration, and that had brought it to this spectacular uh, climax. You have heard from the minister how discoveries from the British Antarctic Survey in the 1980s were the alarm call that warned the world that the, hide, the air, the atmosphere in which we're living was thinning. And that if we weren't careful from what we were doing, we would, and all the people on this earth, would be in danger. The ozone layer, the thinning of the ozone layer. And because of the discoveries of the British Antarctic Survey, the world took action. And that problem was solved. But actually, only temporarily. We are now realizing from the work that's going on there now that that problem is beginning to rear its head once again. So our concern about the health of our planet is essential because our planet's in such danger. And the key to discovering how to help that and understanding what the problems are, are not just up here in the Northern Hemisphere and on the temperate regions. It's at the poles, both north and south. And so that our future and everybody's future will be affected by what people working on this ship, British scientists and others, will be discovering in years to come. So as far as I am concerned, to see this magnificent hull with my name on it is the greatest possible honor. And I thank everyone who has been involved in this wonderful enterprise and wish them huge success when this marvelous ship gets down there in the Antarctic, which we thought was so remote, but which we realize now is absolutely crucial 
to the future of all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sir David. Inspiring words for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has arrived. The launch team advised that we're all good to go. So what I will ask is that uh, we have a countdown from five for Sir Jane, uh, for, beg your pardon, Sir David and Dame Jane. <laughs> so if you can join me. Five. Four, three, two, one, launch. Could I have three cheers for Sir David Attenborough? Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! As the river tugs get control of the vessel, can I also ask you to show your appreciation for all the operational and marine teams today that have done such a fine job. Take a bow, lads. And ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, to conclude the event, I would like to invite the brains behind the project, who represent all of the project teams. So John Drummond, the Camelaird project director, and Andy Jeffries, the NERC program manager, to come to the stage to present the commemorative coin to Dame Jane. When we laid the keel in 2016, Sir David placed the coin under the vessel for good luck. We've recovered the coin and we would like to present it to Dame Jane to keep the ship safe throughout her lifetime.